Hi, welcome all to this new video relating to network security. Uh, it's really going to cover intra and extranet. It's a video developed to enlighten us with a little bit of information of why are networks out there vulnerable and why are these new informations that we get from the news about hackers and crackers and people attacking networks are, are possible and how do they, does it work. Uh, first of all, this video is going to be with a pretty simple language so that anybody could see it and understand it. My, un my intention with this video is not to try to give you a lot of details and things that will confuse you. So on the contrary, I'm going to try to do it so simple that anybody could understand it and that way really realize what are the problems out there that we want to try to achieve with this video covering them and making people aware of how to deal with them because they are there these problems are there so this is the way we're gonna do it I have here a computer which is I'm gonna be using to keep track of what I'm gonna cover on the video I have all my topics here in a little presentation of PowerPoint so I'm gonna be trying to read here to keep track and we can keep a nice chronology of everything that I'm trying to say so that we don't lose track and go to one topic without finishing the other and making it a little bit more easy to understand. So the first thing is the first. Uh, so the first thing is, what is the purpose of the video? Well, the purpose of the video is covering everything that has to do with networks, infrastructure, communications, and why are the problems of networks and security out there affecting us? So that's the purpose. Second part of the video is uh, trying to give you some information of how hackers attack, how they work, how they do what they do, and why do they do it, and how does this work. That's very important. So let's begin. First of all, let's introduce myself. Rude. I had to do that, right? My name is Dario Ortiz. Uh, I'm an ITS consultant. Uh, the purpose of my position in the industry is to give security, give an understanding of what security is and how to secure your infrastructure in a way that is as much secure as possible. You will understand that once we finish this video, uh, what I mean by that. Uh, to do that, you have to have certifications and have to have some studies in, in, the, in the industry. So I've been around. I have studied most courses of Microsoft, I have to take most of their operating system certifications. I have to take most of the certifications of Novell. I take courses of Unix. I have to take courses of Macintosh. I have to take courses of a lot of different operating systems. But you can't do this with only operating system certifications. You need to know a little bit about communications. You need about know about protocols. You need to learn a little bit about electronics. I have to take courses of electronic digital, which is give me the edge and understanding how does these bits goes through a cable and what are they doing in there and understanding the electronics the part the digital part of it uh, I have to take courses in electricity you need to know electricity this is powered by electricity come on you need to know about what is giving power to your equipment uh, I have to take courses of AutoCAD you need to know, to know that because you need to enlighten your customer he needs to see a diagram of his network he needs to understand it and so that you can explain it and when you have large infrastructures, you'll see that if you don't have a good diagram of your network, how can you enlighten your people? You need to tell your people, your your consultants or your IT guys that are working with you or your colleagues, listen, we gotta go to this computer, we got a problem here, we have a bridge there, we got so you need to have good diagrams of your infrastructure. I have to take numerous courses and and certifications, infrastructure, wiring, uh, uh, fiber optics, communications with different type of routers, numerous things. Uh, I've been around 20 years, so that could tell a little bit about it. Uh, this industry is, is, pretty, is pretty nice because it keeps changing, it evolves. So that show me something, you know. You have to go out there and study. You got to go there and see what is new. You got to be on top of it. So that's why when I see something out there that I like, I move fast and quick and I try to take courses and I try to keep on top of it. Sometimes you do like Microsoft says, you go too ahead of technology. You go out there and take courses that you might not use until maybe one year or a couple of months later because technology still hasn't catch up with the technology, but it's not bad to know. 
it's good to know, it's good to learn. Once you have it there, it's very good when you get to a customer and they have a good technology implemented and you already know about it and you just know everything about it and you just go like, oh, I know what that is and I don't know how it works and I, I already take some certifications on it. I, and it, it makes you look good So and it makes you feel good. And if you like what you're doing and you like to invest in your education and on what you're doing, remember, you have to be in this because you like it. If you don't like it, you might as well not be in this. This community of of IT guys and, and, and computer guys are really of people that really likes it. And if you don't like it, you're not going to invest the time, the money, the effort to try to get there. So that's a little bit about me. Uh, I hope that really helps you out. You'll be seeing my information also on screen. So if you need to get in touch with me, you can send me any email or, or contact me. I feel more than happy to help you out. So that would be the first part, telling you who am I. So the second thing is now let's start with the, with the video. The video is going to start by talking about which are the problems of security what do they do what did this mean that's pretty interesting so what what is out there and the problem that we're going to try to cover in this video is pretty simple uh, when you have information when you have the data the data of people information trying to simplify it so people don't don't really get the wrong idea information meaning simple things addresses phone numbers maybe credit card numbers maybe social security numbers information about people when you are managing information about people and you keep it in your network uh, you are trying to serve your business with that information and serve the person that you're trying to help with that information also when you're not securing that information you're putting at risk two parts remember this video it's going to try to explain you everything from all perspectives. You got one part here and you got the other part there. One part being the company, but the other part being the the person. You know, there are two parts, two entities, and we got to deal with these two people. The business if is not securing the information right, is putting at risk the customer. And I don't think they want to do that, but sometimes they do it by not knowing. Sometimes they do know, they just don't want to spend the money that they need to spend to get it secure. But because they really don't understand the risks they are, they are running by not doing so. So this is the way it works. When you go to a company and you give your information, you're willing or you want to believe that that company is safeguarding your data. And you'll be surprised to understand once you see the whole video developing on us that it is not. And why is that? Well. That could be numerous things. Uh, maybe they don't have the right person to help them to implement their security. Remember, there's a lot of people out there, but it doesn't mean that all the people that are out there that says that they know about computers really do know. Remember, uh, we're going to be using some analogies here that I be using through all the video. And it is like sometimes some people tells you, uh, you know, I have a car, a regular car, a steering car. Uh, I have a car and, and, and you ask him, oh, cool, do you, do you understand your car? Yeah, oh, I know everything about cars. I have a car. I go everywhere with it and I do this to the car. I do that. You go, oh, great, you know about cars. But one day, you're passing by, you see him through, through one highway and he's stuck there. The car just jammed. Something happened to the car. You, you just stop. And you ask him, oh, what happened to your car, man? Oh, the car damage is not working. You're going, oh, oh, this is no big deal because you know about cars. You'll get it fixed. And he'll go like, uh, you know, I might, I might not because it's the transmission, you know. And it's like, but didn't you tell me that you know about cars? You know, and then, then he goes like, yeah, yeah, but I never said I know about transmissions or motors or stuff like that. I, I could change your oil. I could put a battery in. I could probably turn it on and drive it, you know. I know about cars, it doesn't mean, and I have a car, doesn't mean I, I have to know every detail of the car. So, then you figure out, in the industry, it's almost the same way. You'll see technical guys out there, they, they are technical. Uh, they know some stuff, some little things, they know some stuff of the market, but they're not really well-rounded. Or sometimes they step in too far and they don't understand what 